Hey everyone, welcome back to another Philippines adventure. Today we're kicking off an exciting two-part journey from Iloilo to the mango capital of the Philippines, Guimaras. In this first part, our amazing tour guide Kuya Roland will show us around this beautiful island known for producing the sweetest mangoes in the world. Get ready as we visit locations like the smallest plaza, the breathtaking San Lorenzo wind farm, and indulge in a one-of-a-kind treat, mango pizza at Pit Stop. But before we get this vlog started, let me introduce you to our fantastic tour guide. Meet Kuya Roland, our amazing tour guide in Guimaras. He's a true local born and raised on the island, which means he knows all the hidden gems and best spots. Kuya Roland is not just friendly and entertaining, but he's also super flexible, tailoring the tour to fit our interests perfectly. Plus, he's fantastic at capturing Instagram-worthy photos. If you're planning a trip to Guimaras, I highly recommend booking a tour with him. We had such a memorable and enjoyable time with Kuya Roland. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.26 in the morning. It is bright and early. Today, we are going on our Gamaras tour. So we are going to get picked up by the driver here at the hotel at seven o'clock. We're then going to go to the port where we'll load the car on the ferry. And then from there, take it to Gamaras where we'll start our tour. This is the view of my room. So you can see the ocean back there. Okay, we're about to head out. Got the luggage ready. And now we're gonna go. Here's the pool. And then this is the restaurant here if you wanna order food. Okay, we got our stuff. There's the driver right there. We found some malunga pond de sal. Look at it, it's hot. Thank you. All right. You want to taste it? Sure. Oh, it's nice and hot. We initially booked a trike tour, but due to our luggage, we had to upgrade to a car, which requires taking a Roro. The fare is 500 pesos one way, covering both the car and passengers. Say your name, Kuya. This is your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> you being shy now? Okay, later. Okay? Okay. 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 Do you want to preach it? Of course! Oh, so this is a uh, vegetable lumpia with tuna. Yeah. I'll taste it. Okay. How much is it? First five pesos. Five? Oh, wow, that's not bad. <laughs> Alright, Homer. Let's see. It's good? Okay. All of our tours, except for the one in Sikihor, were booked through Daydreamer Travel and Tours. For Gimaras, there are two tour options, a land tour, which we're doing today, and an island tour. We had such a great experience with Kuya Roland during our Iloilo tour that we requested him as our guide for Gimaras as well. A fun fact about Kuya Roland is that he was born in Gimaras and knows the island like the back of his hand. He's not only familiar with the area, but also has great connections with the locals. <laughs> go up there so it's not air conditioned it's open where do you guys want to sit sure oh. we're going Get in the car, we're about to dock. Go back downstairs. Look at how steep the steps are. Everybody's getting ready to leave. Okay, we're here at Gimma Rust. Port of Jordan. This is Jordan Port. This is the only port. Yeah. 
the cross up there. Uh, it's beautiful here. So this is part one of the tour. Oh. So there is a restaurant towards the back. I know, I don't want it to bite me. So we have complimentary breakfast. <laughs> Marcy. Yeah. Oh, wow. This is nice. <laughs> We're going to chill in the boat. So this is Toribaya's place. They have all this mango bombs. This looks like, I guess, a biscocho. Oh, they got chips. Yeah, ch cheese is okay. They're trying to figure out what to feed me. Where are you going, Homer? Restaurant? Uh, while we were waiting for our breakfast, Kuya Roland shared a captivating legend about a hidden treasure guarded by a mystical fish. The story goes that the treasure is buried in a cave beneath a cross. The cross marks the entrance to the cave and serves as both a guide and a warning. The treasure is said to be protected by a mystical fish with supernatural abilities like changing size and shape making it impossible to capture. The fish is believed to test the worthiness of anyone seeking the treasure. The fish is said to have a shimmering, almost ethereal appearance, with scales that glisten like precious metals. Despite numerous attempts, no one has been able to retrieve the treasure, leading to speculation that it may be enchanted or cursed. So I have bread with butter and bread with cheese. Then this is fried chicken and rice. And then they both got Tocino. Tocino with egg and rice, rice. and a calamansi juice. 30 BS, please. Yeah. I was having a hard time pronouncing it. Look at that. They're like, they have like a white tip nose, right? Yeah. What, what's the name of this fish? Sigwil. Stickfish. Okay. Stick fish. Stickfish. Stickfish. Oh, okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was a good breakfast. Yeah. Okay, next stop, windmill. Look at that. Nice. That's where we came from, right? The railroad over there? Yeah. It's the first to be the first parade that you know. The smallest plaza covering an area of less than 300 square meters holds the Guinness World Record title of being the smallest plaza in the world. At the center of this tiny plaza stands a statue of Jose Rizal. There's a little stage back there. Then that's all. Okay, let's go. Chelsea <laughs> dance room. The San Lorenzo Wind Farm on Guimaras Island is a significant renewable energy project in the Philippines. It consists of 27 wind turbines, each towering at approximately 80 meters. This wind farm generates a considerable amount of electricity, contributing to the island's energy needs and promoting sustainable energy practices. It's Kuya Roland. Say hi. Here we are at the windmill. Okay. Are we gonna stand here? Oh, we're gonna stand here. Okay. <laughs> you crazy. You crazy, Marcy. <laughs> All right, Marcy, you gotta do <laughs> jump. Oh, I'm sorry. Matang lawin. Yung po sa kili Okay lang yan. You do the Filipino style. No. The wind here is strong. I know. Ganda no. Yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice out yeah. here. It's breezy. In the, yung in the yes, it's not the prickly. You can get a photographer, driver, entertainer, entertainer, <laughs> <laughs> everything. Look at Homer. Alright, Homer, Hi, jump! Yung chan Homer go. Like this one. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> yeah! It's down. Yeah. Mean girl. I'm a mean girl. I'm a mean girl. <laughs> Oh, look. <laughs> Homer, you gotta 
Pancho. So you said we're in San Lorenzo. San Lorenzo wind turbine. Okay, and that side? It's a Sibunag. Sibunag? Okay. The product here is a different color of salt. Oh. And, yes, and flavor. Oh. Okay. Can you put it here? But now they don't have it because the gift shop is since the like pandemic, it's not closed. Oh. So, you can see it on the... Shopee. Um, Instagram? Sa, no. Uh, manga, manga. Ah, 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 manga. Doing their prenup photos. Ooh, ooh. In the bus. What? Ganyan? This is the third shot. Okay. <coughs> so you got three shots. Where's your next stop? Uh, Man made, made, right? Man made, Man -made forest. Man -made forest. It's a kitchen. Mango design. And there's a shot glass also. Makan ko shot glass. Eat ma. Omer wants to shot glass. Let's see your souvenir. Oh, wow, look at that. Ref magnet. 40 pesos. Let's go. Yeah, it is. And po yung gift shop. Oh, okay. And then when COVID happened, it closed. The man-made forest in Guimaras is a remarkable environmental initiative that showcases the island's commitment to conservation and sustainability. This forest is not a natural growth, but a carefully planned and cultivated area where thousands of trees have been planted to enhance biodiversity, prevent soil erosion, and provide a natural habitat for local wildlife. Hi, how are you? Oh wow. We will cut the tree and still they have a box inside. Oh yeah, you were telling me oh, about like that. that. Yeah. Okay, let's get it. See, there is a... The Yusef. Yusef? Uh, oh, there's a cross. Wow. See? Yeah, I see. It's a cross. That's nice. No, it just, that's just how it is? Yes, it's oh. natural. Just natural. Oh. Oh. Hello. Cool. It's so hard to get this tree. Why? There's Tell a it. lot of uh, thinning. Oh, oh, a lot of like spikes or thorns. Yeah. <laughs> okay. See, I can translate. Only uh, <laughs> indigenous people can could get, get this. Get this. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let me 
That's why you want to straight in this very uh, like uh, matagal siya na siya. Oh, it won't break easily. Yeah. 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 Safely, I can understand you. Yeah. 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 You could put in your pocket. While visiting the man-made forest, one of the best souvenirs you can take home is the Sunuku Entry keychain, crafted right on the spot. These keychains are unique and meaningful, featuring a cross embedded in the middle of the tree, symbolizing the island's cultural and spiritual heritage. By purchasing these keychains, you not only take home a piece of Gimaras, but also support the local artisans who create them. <laughs> So this is Pit Stop, the home of the mango pizza. Here we go. We're sitting here. It's their menu. This is what they're known for, this original mango pizza. Oh, look at that. And this is their food. They have the chicken mango, dobo. Eight slices. Eight slices. Eight slices. And some drinks. Uh, extras. A little vlog. <laughs> A little bit. I'll give it to you. I think so. It looks like it's uh, maybe pork, right? Maybe there's like. Um, yeah, like bacon? Yeah. How about this one? Vegetarians, there is chicken and tuna in here. So... <laughs> why, you know, why you look like that queer? He said, huh? Ah. Wow, wow. If you add hot sauce on it, it tastes good. But it's not sweet, that's a good thing. It's just right. I don't know, it reminds me of something I tasted before. Marcy, honest opinion, what does it taste like? It's good. Is it good? Uh, what did you say it tastes like? It's like what I mean? Spread. Chicken spread. <laughs> what you buy in the grocery. But it tastes good. Okay, that's good. Eat like the locals. Okay, next stop. And that wraps up part one of our Gimaras adventure. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Stay tuned for part two where we'll continue our adventure and uncover even more hidden gems in Gimaras. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next vlog.